Hi guys, I'm back on top of Dover Cliffs above Samphire Ho where I filmed the barracks the other week. Well I've done a bit more research and I found there are a few more World War II bunkers along the top of the cliff. Well I've probably walked 10 minutes from the barracks that I filmed a few weeks ago heading towards Dover and this is the first place I've come to like I say from World War II these would have been the front line defences guys perched on top of Dover Cliff it's blowing a gale again I hope you can hear this okay. I'll just point down how high this is. You can see the white cliffs there in the distance. There's a railway line. A couple of small lakes, but I'm not sure they're meant to be there. We've had a lot of rain. This is the entrance to one of the war bunkers. Well, obviously they'd have had guns mounted on these concrete pillars. And this is the view, guys. Looking across towards the harbour. Any enemy aircraft coming across the channel, they could shoot them down. Still girder. Pretty rotten. Holding up the concrete roof. Lots and lots of graffiti carved into the chalk brickwork. Again, all the metal supports have rotted away. Fireplace in this one, guys. You can imagine the soldiers sitting here freezing cold in these little concrete bunkers. I should think the fire was quite a welcome thing. Okay, we come out of this one. And there's another one just sort of adjoining it. sealed up, they were buried more underground, why some are sealed and some aren't I don't know.
concrete mount for something, but what I don't know. Which storage areas? Probably for munitions. The walls limp right over you guys. Not a good thing. There's a doorway here. Looks like a little mud. Full of water. This was possibly more a barracks for the soldiers to relax. Carry on looking. Above ground, just gonna get, get up this wall. Just gonna lay the camera down, guys. Everything was built to last with reinforced concrete ceilings or roofs in case they were bombed, which they probably were. Have a look over the edge guys, a little bit further along. That's the information centre for Samphire Ho. And that blue funny shaped thing is an old fashioned lighthouse. The rest of this, like I say, it was all made up from the spoil from the channel tunnel and it's been turned into a nature park. I don't know how well you can see, but there's cows grazing on the grass. Obviously the channel behind France in the distance, you can't see it because it's too cloudy. But on a clear day you can. It's only about 22 miles, I think. Just approaching the next one now, guys. You can imagine during the Second World War how invaluable these places were. Front line defences. Literally perched on top of the cliffs.
Yeah, much the same as the last one. All corroding away. And this is the window which would have overlooked the sea. Like that. Right guys, I'm going to cut it there, and if I find some more, I'll start filming again. Cheers guys. Hi right, guys, I've only walked for two minutes and I've come to the next one. It's buried underground here. You can see some of the brickwork. So we just continue round. This is it all to my left buried under the brambles Yeah, it's like a farmer's using this guy's for his animals. Yeah, definitely. Well, at least it's still being used. Same with the rest of it guys, it's all being used by the farmer. Instead of the soldiers. walls all collapsed there onto the uh, entrance door so it looks like you have to go in through this window which isn't a problem what's left of the old electrical boxes Yeah, it's collapsed here, guys. That metal beam rotted away totally, that end broke off. Like I say, there's a lot of weight above because it's all reinforced concrete. That's where the walls collapsed against the building.
that would have been the original entrance. camera over while I get out. That's where we've just been. Soldiers, nice gesture. <sighs> yeah, so you can just jump in this one, but it's much the same as where we've just been, guys. Like I say, the metal reinforcing is absolutely rotted away. See right across there to the harbour. You can see the ferry coming into the harbour. It's a beautiful day, other than the wind. We'll just walk around the other side, see if we can get in the back of it. looking guys that one. You have to excuse me sniffing, it's freezing cold out here. Now guys, there is more in the distance, I can see. I will turn off the camera now. We're going to have a look. See if there's anything any 
different. Right, catch you in a bit. Cheers, guys.